Does, uh, uh, this is Cord's mother, Maria. Maria, this is a friend of mine, Patrick London. Oh, yes. Yeah. How do you do? Just fine. Couldn't be better, as a matter of fact. Uh, Maria, there's nothing to be concerned with. I'm not doing anything behind Cord's back. Yeah, unfortunately, that's true, Mrs. Roberts. So, just relax. In fact, I've got to go get some supplies. I'm sure you're here to see Kate, right? Yes, yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. What can I do for you? A lot, if you choose to. I need your help, Kate. I need it desperately. Because you are the only person in the world who... who can convince my son to stop treating me like a rabid dog and to give me a chance to prove that my love is worthy of him. Maria, I think it would take a small miracle to change the way Cord's feeling right now, and I am certainly not capable of that. I have loved him every day of his life. One mistake and he wants to abandon me. Kate, does that, does that sound right to you? He's very hurt and he's angry and he... But I hardly did anything at all. I took, I took an existing situation and I... All I did was try to get Cord's father back into my life. Why doesn't anybody see that as love? Why, why does everybody see it as an illness? Because it's not love, it's obsession. And that is nonsense! I, I... Kate, you claim to love my son. How can you say that you love him when you don't even know what it is? There is a love in this world that, that, that has nothing to do with sense or intelligence or... It is the most pure thing that anybody can feel, and that is what I felt for Clint. I know that we were meant for each other. It was destiny. Until, of course, Asa Buchanan decided... You don't understand. You, you're not capable of it. So, when is the wedding? Soon, I hope, before I'm railroaded into jail. Oh, Marie, have you gotten yourself a good lawyer? Oh, what do I need a lawyer for? I have my lovable, adoring son and his bride-to-be supporting me at my side. Oh, oh Miss Roberts, be careful. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, we could have had a catastrophe here. One of these contains marginotoxicol. That's one of the deadliest poisons known to man. Patrick, what on earth are you doing carrying around that substance? It's another project I've started on the side. I'm trying to neutralize its toxic effects. I, I don't understand. If I had actually knocked that vial out of your hands, why would it have caused a catastrophe? If it had spilled on either one of us, we'd be dead. That poison is absorbed through the skin. It only takes one drop, and death is practically instantaneous. Oh. Well, then I suggest that you be very careful. Bye. So did I interrupt you or save you? Saved me, thank you. I just don't know what it's going to take to convince Maria Roberts to save herself. Raymond? Doesn't he care what happens to you? All right, beat it, fellas. The lady doesn't want to answer any questions. Lady? She's in on the kidnapping of the Buchanan baby. She tries to drive Mrs. Buchanan crazy so she can steal her husband. I am going to sue you and your filthy newspaper for printing all those lies about me. Lies? Well, Mrs. Buchanan doesn't think so. She says you're guilty. Well, and you've just been formally charged. It is a lie. Now, leave me alone. Okay, folks, that's it. Come on, move. Out, out. I hate the press. Yeah, Maria, a word of warning. Don't even think about jumping bail. Oh, I have no intention of leaving Landview. I plan to stay right here and, and fight Tina and Vicky. And I am going to win. What are you staring at? Uh, sorry, uh, you know around here I haven't seen you before. Oh, I just started today. Nobody told me about it. Well, I was told to clean up this room. Do you know if it's empty? Uh, Dr. London and his assistant uh, went out a little while ago. Uh, they probably went to dinner. Uh-huh. So I guess that means they're out for the evening, huh? Oh, I don't think so. Dr. London works all kinds of hours. Oh, well, in that case, I'd better get started. Uh-oh. Use your key. Uh, uh, they didn't give me any key. Oh, dear, what am I going to do? This job is so important. I mean, my life depends on this. I oh, know that feeling. Oh. Oh, oh, thanks. You are a godsend. Thanks. What's your name, anyway? Um, uh, Roberta. Roberta 
Coleman. Huh? Uh, say you could only take an hour uh, well, for meals. Yeah, that'll give me plenty of time, I guess. Thanks. God, we could have had a catastrophe here. One of these contains martinotoxicol. That's one of the deadliest poisons known to man. What on earth are you doing carrying around that substance? Another project has started on the side. Trying to neutralize its toxic effect. I, I don't understand. If I had actually knocked that vial out of your hands, why would it have caused the catastrophe? If it had spilled on either one of us, we'd be dead. That poison is absorbed through the skin. It only takes one drop, and death is practically instantaneous. Chief about this. Don't be dumb, Roberta. You're an ex-con. He won't believe you. He'll say you stole the chemical. Stay out of it. Early. I wonder. I'd like a word with you, Tina. Please. Look, if you were here to threaten me, I thought you'd like to know that I am not going to expose you, Tina. Well, I've decided to hold off on, on telling Cord that Al isn't his baby. Why? Well, I thought I would leave it up to Kate to make your life miserable. I've already accepted the fact that Kate and Cord are going to be married. I don't know how accepting you're going to be after... after Kate convinces Cord to take full custody of the baby. What are you talking about? Kate doesn't want to share Cordetto or Al with you. You're lying. Well, don't take my word for it. Go and ask Kate. You can probably find her in, in Patrick's lab over at Sanders Chemical. Wanda, look, I have to go. I'm sorry. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. You're forgetting about Vicky's present. He's Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, really. I just, I just remembered I had someplace I have to go. Okay? All right. You just take Vicky's birthday earrings and you hide them someplace, okay? I, I will. I'll, I'll put them in the nursery. They'll be safe there. Good luck with your lawyers. Birthday earrings. Perfect. Thank you for meeting me. You said this, is, this had something to do with Tina. Yes, this is her birthday gift for you. She decided to take little Al for a drive up in the mountains, and she was so afraid she wouldn't get back in time. And Well, she did want you to wear these for your birthday dinner. Come on, open it. Oh, my goodness, how lovely. Go on, put them on, Vicki. Oh, how sweet.
soon, Vicky. Very soon. <laughs> 